Homemade churros is incredibly delicious. It is crunchy outside, so soft, moist, and a bit chewy inside. It is made from a dough called powder shoe. And last week, I shared my cream puff recipe using powder shoe. The sum of the ratios or ingredients are slightly different, and I'm gonna tell you why as I go. Let's get started. As preps, warm egg until it feels slightly warm and sift flour. Today I use opabus flour instead of cake flour because I want more crunchiness outside and slightly chewy inside. Set your star tip in a pastry bag and set aside parchment paper. We're gonna use this later. Everything moves so quickly once you start heating a pot. So prepare your oil and cinnamon sugar as well. In the pot, add water, milk, salt, sugar, vanilla beans, cinnamon, and butter. I'm adding more sugar today than my cream puff recipe to add a little bit more sweetness inside, and sugar also helps to make the texture more moist and soft. And heat it at medium-high heat until it starts boiling hard. I usually start heating oil around here at the same time so that by the time the dough is piped and ready, you can deep fry them right away. Okay, remove from heat and add flour to the boiling hot liquids and mix well until it forms a ball. And heat again with medium heat to cook starch in the flour. This is about the double amount of the cream puff video, so I need to cook slightly longer. You will see a thin skin is formed on the bottom of your pot and hear the nice sizzling sound all around. And move it into a bowl and knead a little bit to make sure they are even. And by doing that, the temperature goes down just slightly so that eggs are not getting cooked. Add about one third or a little less than a half amount of eggs and mix well. When it looks almost blended, add about half of the rest and add the last and mix until it becomes completely even. So for cream puff, I need to add about eight eggs here, but today I am using five for churros, so it's less. That is because we don't want the dough to get too soft to hold a nice shape in oil, and also so that we can create the unique churros texture that has nice crunchiness outside and are not too spongy, but very soft and slightly chewy. Now check the temperature. The ideal temperature is between 170 to 175 Celsius. You can pipe delicately into the hot oil and cut with a scissor to detach it. You can pipe longer to make sticks or very short to create this like cute balls. Just be careful not to spill the oil when you drop them and burn yourself because it's extremely hot. If you want to enjoy creating many shapes and have fun, pipe them on parchment paper first. By using a slightly warm egg, it'll be easier for you to pipe here. Once this dough completely cools down, you can still pipe, but you will need a little bit more pressure to push it up. And dip the whole thing in oil. No need to lash to take out the paper because you don't want to mess up the shape. Once the dough is cooked slightly, it'll be easier for you to slide that out. It'll come off easily. By using a star tip, the dough gets cooked faster than using a round tip, and it looks very pretty as well.
as a final step, coat cinnamon sugar all around the churros. Churros might be something you eat only at the theme parks or carnivals usually, at least that was me. But once you know homemade churros taste incredible and it is so easy to make, you might want to make it over and over for your family and friends. And I bet everyone is going to love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made this, please let me know about how it turned out and how you enjoyed a home. Enjoy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.